What is going on, guys? We are now at the water. We have, a, I mean, there's just so many good spots. I think I've tested, I think Power on a Stick was tested right there. And what I'm almost thinking is for spots like that, I won't want the shroud or the, this face plate as I call it. I might, so I brought the little Allen key with me. We're gonna test this 80 tooth pulley, but I have a feeling that there's just too much torque. Like it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're pushing this way, I mean, I guess maybe. There's only one way to find out, but I have a feeling we're gonna have to swap that out for the 60 tooth pulley. I thought there wasn't a set screw in there. I was like, well, this is gonna be a short test. Oh, they're both in there, they're just really deep. But we'll do a little test and see what kind of power we can make. First, we're just gonna try like the slower moving water like right in there. And then we're just gonna work our way up. I, I think that really is probably the best spot for testing. I'll just probably have to pull that face plate off and climb my way down there and around. But I, I know I got out there once, so I can definitely do it again. So let's climb down and see what we're working with. I also have thought about this being an issue, but I guess we'll find out together because I'm by myself today. Um, I'm worried that the amount of surface area right here and the flow rate of the water is just gonna take it. <laughs> I can't believe it didn't just get washed away. Hopefully I don't. Yeah, that was a concern I had that it would just, um, the, you can see the water is just spinning around the impeller. It wants to spin though. I mean, it's right there. What if I just help it? Come on. But I am pleasantly surprised at how well that uh, faceplate is kind of working, given the scenario. Let's try. You can see it's, it is starting to fill up, but it, the water is just spiling around it, which is not ideal. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to uh, move to the faster, faster current. Well, let me, let me put my sunglasses in a better spot. I am worried about holding on to this thing, but I guess we're gonna try and sneak our way to like right here. Where did I come in? And the worst part is if I fall, you're gonna fall with me and you won't be able to see it. I can't tell what's actually being pushed on it. You can see right here the water is literally just spiraling around it, so. I think I'm gonna pull this faceplate off and go try and stick the impeller down into that one spot I was saying, or maybe right there, again, just so I'm not kept off the ground this much and then this much more surface area. But it's actually not pulling me, my arm as bad as I thought it would, but let's pull this faceplate and test it again. And just like that, we now just have the turbine, no faceplate. So let's go back in the water. Um, hold on, I'll fix. Let's climb down. Try not to fall in. That moss actually looks somewhat dry right there. I, I lied. This rock, very wet. But we're now down here, and you can see that's the little part I was talking about. That might have more velocity, or even right there. But for some reason, I can't find a way to get over to that nice, beautiful side over there. But, all right, I guess I'm gonna try not to fall in and hold the camera, or maybe maybe I'll set it up, we'll see. Yeah, by myself, I don't know. I wish you guys could see, like, I have one foot way back here. One. I don't know how I'm gonna get over there. I mean, I guess I could jump to that rock, but jumping back to this one would not be a good time. You, you'd fall. And I can't step in there because it almost went to the top of my boot very, like, right here is already to the top of my boot. So I don't know how deep that is. Oh, if I fall in, you guys better like and comment. 
I have my phone and everything on me too, so. Oh, am I blocking it? I don't know how I'm gonna show you guys this, but give me a second. Oh, it's hard to see it, but I'm barely in the water and it is spinning. But if you look, there's maybe, oh God, oh God. This is by far the sketchiest shot I've gotten. But where I was holding it, there's only like two inches of water versus a couple, five, six, and it's moving way slower. Uh, let me try and get it in there. But we've now at least proved the concept. I just need, oh, like right there on that side. I should just bring a little board. Just one, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna bring a board so I can just walk across. Cause that's too slick. Or I'll drag that rock, imagine. Oh, I wanna get right there. All right. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have to, or I at least, at least need a camera person because this is sketchy. If you guys know a spot in Connecticut or Rhode Island, where I can easily access it, or if you want to help film, let me know. I guess what I could do too is I could walk farther up that way and see if there's more, but I mean that, that spot right there and that spot right there are pretty much perfect for this application, or I mean a bunch of these spots are, even that one, but they're all conveniently on that side. I was thinking about trying to step in there, but it doesn't look like it on camera, but that's, I don't know, probably a four foot gap. So stepping from here to there, and fast flowing water is not ideal. Especially when you're carrying all of your stuff. So I'm gonna get off the slippery rock and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Oh my God, I thought it was gone. We got the, if you guys have any suggestions on this, please let me know, I'd love to hear them. But I think for the meantime, um, I, th I think the best bet for me is gonna be right now to drop down to that 60 tooth. You can tell I'm, I'm sweating out here. Uh, I'm gonna drop down to the 60 tooth and I think I'll probably try and incorporate uh, anything else that I can think of or any comments you guys have while I'm building the second one. But stay tuned because there's a lot of different projects coming up. Thanks to you guys, you guys have dropped so many good comments. You guys have suggested so much good content to shoot and I read every single message. I've been going through them. It just, some of these things take a really long time and then when you're by yourself, it's kind of hard to film too. But I will see you guys in the next one. Keep liking, commenting, and subscribing. And now for the bloopers of getting back. These muck boots make it really nice too. And there you have it. <sighs> One sweaty mat. I've been eaten alive by mosquitoes. This worked better than I thought it would, so honestly, I'm still pretty excited, but didn't, it didn't get to the point where we hooked up the power. I just, I've used this thing enough to know, but does anyone watch these? Do you guys like bloopers? Should I include more? I want to see me like falling or something. I'm not gonna fall on purpose, but sometimes I fall doing things like that. But okay, I need to wipe my face. I'll see you guys in the next one.